my world. Now, I am a huge fan of Strongman. Love watching Strongman competitions. It is, it's basically a Christmas tradition here in the UK. It shows on TV around Christmas time. We get a bunch of heats with some of the strongest men in the world competing to go into the final with the, the 10 strongest men in the world. And then after six events, we find out who is crowned the strongest man in the world for that year. Now, every year for the last couple of years now, I do daily blog posts where I you know, discuss the, the heat or the final or whatever that has been on that day for World's Strongest Man. And I love it. I love doing that. I love watching it. You know, I have all the finals. I've got a ton of the heats and things like that that I can watch at any time I want. And I do. I re-watch them year after year. Sometimes uh, when I'm in the mood for actually working out, which... Not as often as I should, obviously, but you know, sometimes when I do that, I will like to put on the random episode of World's Strongest Man and lift weights, and you know, it motivates me. Sadly, not as much as it probably should. Yeah, and as a gamer, you know, it would be great if there was a World's Strongest Man game. I've thought of it for years, but I, as far as I knew, one didn't exist until last year. I happened to stumble upon a review of a game called Full Strength. Strongman competition, and it was a World's Strongest Man game. I had no idea it existed. As soon as I found out it did, I had to get hold of it and, well, play it and review it. Developed by Cap Daddy Games, who are mainly known for a bunch of really crappy to mediocre tycoon games, um, Full Strength Strongman Competition was released in 1999 on the PC. You get to choose from a total of six, yes, six, World's Strongest Man competitors that were part of the competition from the you know, early to mid 90s. And you compete in various World's Strongest Man classic events to be crowned the World's Strongest Man. So here are the six competitors you get to choose between. Wayne Price of South Africa, Fleming Rasmussen from Denmark, Riku Kiri of Finland, Manfred Hobel from Austria, Heinz Olesch from Germany, and the four-time World's Strongest Man, one of the all-time greats, Magnus Ver Magnussen from Iceland. All of these men were finalists in the 1995 World's Strongest Man competition, so I'm assuming that that's what this game was based on. Which makes some of the picks a little odd. They missed out Gary Taylor, for example, who was a former World's Strongest Man just a couple of years prior, and, you know, one of Britain's greatest strongmen. They also missed Magnus Samuelson, who, while it was his debut, debuted in spectacular fashion in 1995 by breaking Nathan Jones's arm during an arm wrestling contest. Plus, he went on to win the 1998 World's Strongest Man. And considering this game wasn't released until 1999, which means it took four years to come out, surely they could have, you know, put in some better characters to choose between, rather than the likes of Wayne Price and Heinz Olesch, which, no offence to them, never really did anything special in World's Strongest Man. But that said, it's not like any of the characters actually matter in the game. The character models are different and try to look like their real life counterparts. Try. But there are no stats or anything deep like that, so it doesn't matter who you pick, they all play the exact same. So I suppose it doesn't really matter that much that Magnus Samuelson and Gary Taylor were included. But still, it would have been nice. After you've chosen your muscle man supreme, it's time to pull, throw, carry and lift your way to the world's strongest man. You will partake in eight classic strongman events and at the end, the athlete with the most points is crowned the winner. These events are... The car roll. You roll a car over. Pretty self-explanatory really. Flip it over again and again until you reach the finish line. Truck pull. Hmm, how do I explain this one? Well, well, first you have, like, a, a truck, and then there is some sort of, um, what's the word? Uh, pulling involved. Sorry if you don't follow that. 
Yeah, okay, joking aside, you pull the big heavy truck over the finish line in the fastest time possible. It's a classic World's Strongest Man event. Atlas Carry. A cornerstone of the World's Strongest Man competition since the early days, the Atlas Carry sees our strong men having to lift big heavy balls of granite off the ground and onto platforms. The platforms can sometimes be varying heights, but one constant is that the Atlas stones always get heavier. Showgirl Lift. Not exactly an event that happens every year, but the basic event is the classic squat lift. This version sees showgirls sat on a platform to provide the weight. The strong man with the most squats in the allocated time is the winner of the event. Tire Toss. Think of the discus throw at the Olympics, but replace the discus with a big heavy tire. Throw it the furthest distance and you win. Farmer's Walk. Over the years, the implements needed to be lifted have changed along with the distance, but the basics of the event are still the same. Strong men must lift huge weights, one in each hand, and carry them as fast as possible to the finish line. This event in particular causes athletes to tear their hands due to the grip needed to hold on to the weights. Keg Toss. Another event that has been going for years but has changed quite a bit over time. This version has you trying to throw one barrel over a wall as high as possible. Super Yoke. Two huge weights on either side of you must be carried down a course as quick as possible. Difference between this and the farmer's walk is that you have a bar across your back to help lift and hold it above the ground while you grip the weights at the side and hope that you have the strength to run down the course. For some reason the game decided to make their own version of this event having you weave between cones instead of moving down the straight course. Watching these events at actual World Strongest Man competitions is, well, fun. At least, you know, for fans of Strongman. So, in the game, they must be fun to play too, right? Wrong. Why? Well, because of the control scheme. Three buttons. Z. C. Spacebar. You can change these to your liking, but those are the default settings, and, well, what's the point in changing them? For most of them, you simply mash the Z and the C key, like this. Build up power or speed, and then if you need to throw something, press the space bar at the right time. That's it for almost all of these events. Running event. Throwing event. Car flip. Squat. Truck pull. That's it. Your fingers will hurt and you will be bored to tears after like two events. The, the closest thing they come to changing up is when you have to move left and right with the super yoke and uh, the atlas carry. Instead of building up speed to move across, you have there's a little bar that goes up and down and you have to press left or right to balance yourself. And I can never remember which way I'm supposed to balance and I drop the stone and I always do terrible at that event. <sighs> it, if only a good developer got their hands on this game, it might have been better, but I do have to admit at the same time, especially back in the, the 90s, what else could they have done for the gameplay beyond button mashing to build up power and speed? So, while the developer, not exactly a good one, I, I can't really see there being a, a particularly better game at the time uh, from anyone, uh, unless they drastically changed the gameplay to like an RPG style, and I don't think that would have been any better, to be quite honest. So, the game on easy mode is just that. Easy. Literally the only event I will ever lose on easy mode is the Atlas Carry just because I can never remember which button I'm supposed to press at which time. Uh, but every other event you, you will be clearing the competition with ease and beating them more often than not.
by like 10 seconds in the races and at least like three or four reps in like the squat. Hard mode? Yeah, that's when it does get harder. You see, in easy mode for running and things, they'll trip up over themselves, um, they'll slow down, and you know they'll just not be as good. In hard mode, they're basically the perfect athlete. And no matter how hard you go, they will still seemingly go at speeds beyond any human comprehension at pressing two keys alternatively. It was insane. And the Atlas carry, just no chance at that on hard mode either. And the Kektos is very difficult because I can never seem to understand you know, where I'm supposed to throw the barrel, at which point to get it over the extended height that hard mode gives you. So I've never been able to win at hard mode. Although, to be quite honest, I have only attempted it twice. Easy mode, you could win that every time, but once you've done it once, what's the point? Yeah, you can change character, but like I said, it doesn't matter. It's just the name and character model that's different. And they don't look great anyway. So, that's the Ultimate Strength Strongman Competition game. Ultimate Strength, Full Strength. I can't even remember the name of the game properly. That's how bad it is. It is piss poor. As a huge fan of Strongman all my life, I could not recommend this at all. It is pitiful. I give it my overall score of 5 out of 100. 5. Avoid like the plague. Not that it's going to be difficult because, you know, it's not exactly a popular game, a well-known game, and you won't really come across it that easily. So, I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.